Hello everyone, I am Shubhaman. In this video, I am going to show you how to port the Yamaha 10 ROM Focal Pad Note 3, Note 3 Lite or Note 3 Plus. So without wasting time, let's get started. First, go to www.techpunch.xyz and uh, here you will get one guide that is Yamaha UI 10 porting guide. The guide is written by Deb and the porting files by, are by Rock Rock uh, which is modified by Deb. So from here you have to download the modified Yamaha UI 10 porting files and go to this one of the sites to download your Yamaha UI 10 ROM. So these are the some of the Yamaha UI 10 providers, uh, providers which are Yamaha Pro.net, yeah, Xiaomi.eu, Yamaha UI Room, Yamaha UI Brazil and uh, Yamaha UI Redefining Android. So these are the some of the Yamaha UI 10 uh, provider which I know and uh, today we are going to port this Yamaha UI 8.9.20 Pro ROM. So these are ROMs we are porting from Redmi Note 4 Nickel device which has a chipset uh, MT6797 and we have the chipset as MT6735 or 53. Let's see how to port the ROM. Now first you have to extract the modified Yamaha UI 10 porting files .zip. I already extracted so let's open the folder and let me give you the quick overview on all of these files so these are the two softwares advanced dpk tools and image extractor advanced dpk tool is used for compiling and decompiling the apk and image extractor is used for extracting the system.new.dat file i will tell you later about these two apks and uh, these are the porting files focal pad node 3 node 3 lite and node 3 plus and uh, these are the different different build props for yeah, global MIUI yeah, room and uh, pro rom now open the redmi.txt and we have to follow this uh, redmi as it is so first extract the MIUI yeah, 10 rom which we are already downloaded so now extract it and yeah it's all uh, done so now open the folder these are the all files but we need only system folder so we have to extract the system.new.dat file to our system folder so for that we are using this image extractor tool now open this image extractor tool as an administrator and now go to your system.new.dat and uh, now click on browse select your system.new.dat file and just open it and uh, start so now first it will convert the system.new.dat to system.img and then it will convert the system.img to to system folder so i will skip the video because it's the longer process yeah now it's done and uh, we got our system folder and these are the all files in the system folder and to go back and this is our system folder and delete the system.img and uh, text file and uh, from now we have to follow our readme.txt guide so open our readme guide and uh, first we have to delete these uh, files for ROM from our port rom so from app we have to delete the fingerprint extension service sometimes this fingerprint service extension folder is in the private folder so check whether it is and delete it after that we have to delete the firmware fmr and mddb folder from etc ok now go back and delete these are drm gl hw and sound effects from lib and lib64 folder let's do this for all go back and do the same with lib64 folder also yeah it's done ok so now we have to delete this vendor and xbin folder ok delete it up to now we cleaned up our system folder and now this is the time to apply the porting files to your port system folder so this is our port system folder and this is the best and uh, go back to your modified MIO 10 porting files folder if you are putting the ROM focal pad node 3 lite then you have to uh, open this folder porting files focal pad node 3 lite and if you are putting the ROM focal pad node 3 plus then you have to open the porting files focal pad node 3 plus folder now copy this meta nf folder and just paste it and uh, this meta nf contains a script to flash our ROM copy this boot.img and paste it the boot.img will work on almost all MIO 10 ROMs so don't be worried about it 
Now go to our system folder and we have to copy these all files and paste it into, paste it into our port ROM folder. Copy and paste this IMC registry, go back and now copy these all bin files which are needed to fix the sensors and some other things. Don't touch to that boot.img because I it may uh, gives you boot loop so just to copy and paste that uh, boot.img and do the same as is shown in the video. Copy these all etc files and paste it into your port rom etc folder. Okay now done copy these all lib files and paste it here. And now do the same with the lib64 also. Sometime you have to replace the files, so just to click on replace the files in the destination. Copy all these files. Go to your lib64 folder. Sorry. And I'll paste it. Now you, if you want this uh, private app that is a greenify apk if you want that greenify apk then only it, uh, paste it otherwise you can just uh, neglect it and uh, copy this vendor and xbin folder and uh, paste it ok so now we are totally done with our system folder just uh, we have to uh, modify our build.prop file and now go to your root directory of modified MIOT importing files. This is the port build.prop and these are the stock build.prop for uh, different MIO ROMs globally, MIO room and MIO EU. But now we are putting the MIO 10 Pro ROM so we have to use this pro build.prop. So now we have to compare these uh, two build.props. So we are using one software that is WinMerge. The WinMerge software is used to compare the two files or two folders. Click on this file option then open and we have the two sides left and right. On the left side we are opening the stock pro build.prop and on the right side we have uh, we are opening the pro build.prop. You can choose any side as per your choice. Ok now system and uh, this is our build.prop open it and just uh, click on ok ok on the left side we have the stock build prop build dot prop and on the left uh, right side we have the port build dot prop and now we just have to compare it and uh, change it now open the pro port build dot prop sorry and uh, edit it uh, with the notepad plus plus don't be confused by seeing this code we don't need any programming language to do this we must to uh, make it easy for us just check which lines are uh, changed the uh, lines which are changed are shown by yellow colors so now copy this now go to your uh, stock just find that lines and uh, replace it it's very easy task ok now i will fast forward the video Now we are successfully edited our build.prop file. So now just uh, save it and uh, close it. We are done with our system folder but still you want to add any extra feature into your ROM. 
so let's go here so click on that app pro roms folder and here you will get two apk's yami gallery lock screen and touch screen touch assistant yami gallery lock screen is used to enable the wallpaper carousel and touch assistant is used to enable the quick ball into your rom these are two features are disabled in pro roms that's why i'm copying it and uh, pasting it into your system app folder so it can enable the wallpaper carousel and uh, quick ball into your pro rom and these are the different private pk's if you want you can just copy and paste it is yes, file explorer gboard google sd main and uh, storage analyzer and uh, disk uh, uses you have to just paste it into your private folder but i don't want so i won't copy it okay so now our system folder is ready to be flashed so just uh, click on this meta name system and boot.img just zip it and uh, flash it here you can give the name to your rom just select the dot zip extension and uh, click on ok and this will be done soon yeah it's done now this is our rom just uh, go into your twrp vibe dalvik system cache data and uh, flash the rom enjoy the yamai ui 10 experience on your coolpad device but still some of the bugs are uh, there so let's fix that so go into your advanced apk tool for fixing the zero brightness and battery image correct copy this a framework race dot apk from system framework and uh, paste it into your in folder so this tool is used for decompiling and compiling the apks so now we are decompiling the framework race dot apk so open the apk as an administrator select the second option to decompile the files hit enter now select the one for framework race dot apk type y and this will be done soon now started the decompiling our apk and it will give you all the resources okay now go to the out folder and uh, these are the all resources files so go to the risk folder here you have to go into the values then uh, integer.xml and just edit it with the notepad plus plus so uh, this fix will be applied on zero brightness it will fix the zero brightness bug on your yamai 10 rom so just find this line and change the value from 1 to 10 of brightness dim and brightness dark it is uh, it's very easy just change the value from 1 to 10 and it will, it will fix the zero brightness bug into your yamai 10 rom now the second bug is to uh, battery image it will show the battery battery as 4100 which is the redmi note 4 battery image but we are uh, correcting it with our battery image so in my case your focal pad notes will light the battery is 2500 and the redmi note 4 have battery 4100 so just change 4100 with 2500 save it and uh, close it this is the battery capacity save and uh, close ok so now we have successfully fixed our two bugs now open our uh, software and uh, we have to now recompile the uh, recompile that source files and uh, then we have to sign that uh, apk so just uh, select that folder recompile and then sign type 2 and hit enter ok why sure and it's done now you can check your uh, premocris.apk into your done folder type x for exit and this is the final premocris.apk which is a uh, modified bias so just copy it and we have to make the patch of that premocris.apk and uh, you have to flash this after first boot of our rom so choose any another patch just uh, go into your uh, system folder create one another folder as a framework Go into that folder and just paste it. 
this is the very normal script written uh, in meta inf you can also check here meta inf com google android and update a script with notepad plus plus this very uh, easy script you can get anywhere it will flash this patch now zip it and flash it after first boot of the rom don't forget to give the credit to original developer because they are working the hard to make it Hope you guys like my video do like share and subscribe for YG technical youtube channel and go to our website www.techpunch.xyz for latest tech updates and news thanks for watching